In this video, we're going to show you how to create an Organization Virtual Data Center, or VDC. This exercise will require a dedicated cloud. This isn't possible in the multi-tenant environment of a virtual private cloud, which includes only one Organization VDC. As you can see here, we already have one Organization VDC, and we can easily add another one. First, click Add a Virtual Data Center, and then select the cloud you're going to be working in. If you want to have more than one VDC in this cloud, choose to use some of these resources instead of all resources, because you only want to use a subset of the total available resources. Click Next. Now name your virtual data center. Let's call ours SharePoint. As part of the setup, you will need to specify the size of our VDC. Let's assume we will need about 10 GHz of CPU, 200 GB of storage, 24 GB of RAM, and two IPs. Now click Set up this virtual data center. The resource snapshot is now updating to show that we have purchased and allocated 20 GHz out of 40 GHz available. Once the updates are finished, the resource snapshot will reflect our memory and storage purchases as well. Now that the VDC has been allocated, let's take a look at some of the properties that are initially populated for it. The first thing we see is that our usage bars for CPU, memory, and storage are empty because nothing has been used yet. You can click each usage bar individually and set new allocations based on what's available in your dedicated cloud. Let's go ahead and set a new allocation for storage to see how this works. 200 gigabytes seems low, so let's change it to 500 and click Save. On the Virtual Machines tab, we don't have any virtual machines created yet. The Gateways tab shows that a VCNS gateway has already been created. Configuration is set to Compact, and High Availability is automatically enabled by default. Notice that out of the two IP addresses, one has already been used and one is still free. Let's click the Networks tab to see why this is. We can see here that two networks have been created by default. One is an internal network with an internal IP address and subnet. The virtual machines on this network will only be able to talk to each other. In contrast to the virtual machines on this routed network, which I can source NAT and DNAT out to the internet and assign services to their IP addresses. That way you can use SSH, RDP, or another protocol to access your virtual machines from the outside. Click the Users tab and you can see all the users that have access to this particular VDC and inside the dedicated instance. To log into this VDC directly, you can use the vCloud Director URL, which has the SharePoint name in it because it's the name of our actual VDC. This is the same URL we would use to upload templates and media directly into the catalog for this VDC. Now your virtual data center has been created and is ready for virtual machines to be deployed in it.